Goal of this uh, dola is about freelancers. Freelancers, um, where we, as you know, we work with them. I supposedly work with them too. And working with freelancers can become a headache, lack structure, and can lead to inefficient work. We actually have um, on today's uh, Zoom one of our premier um, freelancers, Ridwan. All right. So again, talking about freelancers, um, I want to go through a few points that I think will be very helpful. Um, as people start working more with them, um, and we they get more ingrained in what we're doing um, at Adventure. Um, so the first thing I like to talk about is how we talk about uh, when we refer to freelancers, um, how we talk about them with clients, how we talk about them internally. Uh, I think it's a good framing, um, and it's important to understand that. So uh, terminology. Dedicated account specialists. Um, as well as specific to the platform, going a little too fast here, but uh, the point of the story is that we don't call them freelancers when we're talking to clients, so we don't say, hey, we have our freelancer working for us for Google Ads, we have a dedicated account specialist who's um, uh, dedicated to your account, dedicated, and it's, if it's specific to a platform, these are Google Ads specialists um, um, working with us on your account. Um, and again, when talking about them to a client, they'll ask them, hey, I hired you guys. Why is you know, X from wherever? Um, you know, why is, where, where is he? Who is he? He's like, we, we are the people setting strategy. Um, and um, they are you know, an important aspect of the team. But um, again, they're specialists for that platform, for that, you know, for that piece of the puzzle that they're involved in. Um, and then the last point here in terms of presentation, in terms of terminology, is the, what are they doing? They're, they're account specific support and execution. So they're executing the strategy that we've envisioned, that we put together um, at, as, the, as the, the team, the internal team, um, and they're more involved in the support and the execution. Perspective. All right. Uh, perspective, I think, uh, and how we think about them again, and, and how we work together with um, freelancers. Um, Important to realize again, we every person here who's working with a freelancer is a manager. Um, they're taking on a different role. Um, it's not just another coworker working with them. Um, there is a management aspect to it. There is a hierarchy. We do have the final say. Um, and the second part to management is that management takes effort. It takes planning. You can't just go and start working with a freelancer and say, "Hey, here's an account. Figure it out." That's not their role. I mean, it should happen in general, but there's management of all of the management takes planning. Um, what, is your, uh, what is the guidance you're giving to the, to the freelancer? Um, and, uh, and so it does take planning. Competent. The freelancers who are you, you are working with are very competent. A lot of smart people involved. Um, some we've lost some because they weren't, but uh, the idea is that the vast majority of them have taken tests. They've got, we've spoken to them before. They have experience. They're not just people who've you know looked at Google Ads. They've run campaigns before, um, and we could we could rely on them and trust them to some extent. Um, but again, going back to the first part, you are managing them, um, so that uh, uh, again, it's, at the end of the day, it's it's back to you. Um, important thing to keep in mind is the purpose. Um, there are general reasons we work with freelancers, and important as you you know start working with that specific um, freelancer what the purpose of that um, um, project is. Is that freelancer coming on board mostly just like for reasons, let's say one of the reasons we hire freelancers is because they're, we, you know, after a number of months that we, uh, this idea that, you know, Isaac talks about of, of, of uh, you know, we, we aren't testing enough. We aren't doing enough changes. We get, you know, things get boring. Things get just rote. So if that's the purpose of that freelancer, then when we first, the initial engagement is to keep that in mind and how are we gonna make sure that continues to happen. So it's part of the planning piece, um, keeping in mind what the purpose of that engagement is. Or in another case, we have a freelancer who's actually dealing directly with the client, almost like an account manager. Account manager, that's gonna be very different in how we execute that engagement. Um, and then lastly here, um, the importance of, of, of the proactivity of, the, of both sides of this, of this engagement. Uh, the freelancer um, has to be coming back with whatever, as manager, you you know you 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 uh, ask them to do, um, and uh, the, the the life cycle of a, of a freelancer who's who just 
there's no proactivity and, and they're not coming back to you with what's needed, um, that engagement will finish quite quickly. Um, and it's important to keep that in mind because we can't just have people in our, in our uh, network and direct, working directly on accounts who uh, just aren't doing what's needed. Process. Um, talking a little about, you know, in the, in the weeds, how we go about in, I guess, going back to the original issue is, is um, I think perspective and, and whatever the other slide was are important. But when we actually get into the weeds with some of, these, with some of the contractors, um, there's a, there lacks the structure and there lacks, I think, one important piece is the documentation, right? There's lots of there's Slack messages, there's emails back and forth, but it's, you know, when it's all over the place, it's nowhere. So um, I think what, we're, what I've been trying to do is, is, moving, um, is moving from just Slack messages and emails to more of a structured process and framework to, for documenting um, working together. What I'm trying to figure out is how to get to back to, oh, do I not present? Um, talking about documentation. So here is Avery's pod. Avery has his own pod. He's special. Um, and here is how I've started working with my, with my t freelance team, my dedicated account specialist. So <clears throat> here's an example. PX, we have um, Yassine who works with me there. And what we try to do is have deliverables monthly that I could talk to the client about with. Um, and here would be our, actually our first line item here uh, is September. Um, we have a, uh, a document that we are working on together. Um, and this is what I expect from him every first week of August, uh, first week of the month, where we have a deck, where we're working off an agenda, you know, some steps. But again, the point over here is there's structure and there's documentation. So in six months, the plan is that I could go back and we'll have these easily accessible reports that I worked on with the freelancer, as well as the other side is that when I'm talking to a client, um, this support, this special has really helped me. Um, it saved me time. It's, it, it, it really took a piece of, of the work um, and uh, supported me in that. Um, we all, I also have, um, I guess the point is that each contractor work a little differently. This one's monthly, the other one I have weekly or bi-weekly. And then as well, I also have um, you know, a, a, a line item for projects. Again, they could get more detailed. I like to be more, have it, to have, it more, uh, have it simpler or more simple, whichever one is English, um, and keep them all together. Um, the other side we all know is the um, Slack side, which I'm not going to figure out how to open here, but the point is to keep Slack as a communicating tool with the freelancers and not have that as the documentation and not have that as the place that projects are being um, given um, because that just gets lost and then there's nothing to go back to. Um, and just loses the structure that I think is necessary for properly managing um, and utilizing a freelancer. Um, I don't know my notes. I think I had a joke here, but it's, I just can't see my notes. Um, here's my present, my timeline. And finally, thank you. <laughs>